to center ice. Here comes Manchester again from the high slot, shooting the former Tiger. Backman regained down to the point. One-timer Gravel and Williams, the stick save. Puck flies out of... And some chemistry throughout this game. Colin Miller from the right corner shoots one, and Williams had a good angle. About baseball players, and when they're hitting the ball well, it seems like a beach ball. That net just looks so big when you're having a hot streak. And Miller from the point rifles one through Williams and scores 9-12 in. Not a slap shot, but a hard wrister by Miller gets through Williams. And the Monarchs lead at one to nothing. This nasty comes back. Now they're trading off big shots. This time the land connects on a few. Galley with a left hand of Bissonnette. They continue to twirl away. Biz nasty with some left jabs. Here's Gallant missing with an uppercut. Gallant with a big right hand. Caught off balance. Pops back up. Still trading right. Oh, this one is an ice. Elbow pad comes off Grattan. Parkner. Big uppercuts. Oh, Grant got tagged. Three. Scott Sabrin. Third round here, Scooter Vaughn, big right hands. Sabrin takes three, four, five big shots. Oh, Vaughn destroys him. Each five minutes for fighting. Time for the penalties, 13-56. Well, we got a pass in front and they score as Kevin Johnson was still working on the public address. A little traffic in front and Andrew Crescenti quickly scored. Gravel back straight away forward to Gravel with a drive save made. And Williams hangs on as Mersch was hoping for a garbage goal. Jeffrey feeds the point. Pulak slaps it down to the half wall. Jeffrey there, backdoor pass. Walking in Ness with a shot. They score! Aaron Ness cutting down the left side. A lot of traffic. Tanner Eberly was right there by the side of the goal. Let's see who will get credit for it. Alan Quine leads the way for Bridgeport. Regardless, it's a one-goal game with 7-12 remaining. 2-0-0-2 when leading after 40 minutes of play. Here is O'Neill looking to center in front, and they shoot and score. There was a lot of traffic in front as O'Brien from the right-wing circle wristed one by Williams, and Williams is a bit baffled at referee Mark Lemelin as how that one would have been allowed to look like he might have been interfered with. Well, obviously, it's a uh, love of the game right now. Guys are, are playing, uh, you know, just for, for the passion. And, and uh, you know, we want to we want to compete. That's a good team over there. And, and uh, you know, we knew they were going to come firing at all cylinders. We, we kind of slept away the first period. But then, uh, obviously, Brett Galan, he uh, stepped up and did a great job. He's a warrior and, and uh, kind of got the boys pumped up. And, and uh, I think we, we picked up our socks and realized we can play with these guys. Um, a few bounces here and there. could have been different, but, uh, again, you got to play 60 minutes against a team like that. Yeah, you know, the, those guys, uh, you know, put it out there for us, and, you know, Galley does it every game. So, uh, you know, it's awesome to see those guys uh, do that for the team, and uh, I think everyone rallies around them when they do it. Well, I don't know if it favored us, but it certainly uh, brought us a little emotion, a little energy that we needed on the bench. You know, obviously, Brett Gallant initiated it and, and Karkner, Vaughn followed suit. I thought it was a, a great way for our team to stick together and, and find a way to crawl, you know, crawl back into this game. And really that's what we did is we we uh, we scraped and clawed our way back into the, into this game because they dominated the first period and we were standing watching them. Yeah, obviously it's, it's hockey is a tough game and it, obviously, uh, you know, me, myself, uh, Brett Gallant and, and, and me and, and Scooter Vaughn, we stepped up to the occasion and and that's what you got to do. You got to protect your teammates and try and create some energy. And I think the guys responded, and I was glad to see that. And, uh, you know, we kind of had a pushback, and, and, you know, we could have took that game. Well, I was just, I was going to the net, and uh, Nestor came across, and the puck just kind of uh, was in everyone's feet. And I was just trying to look for it, and then it popped right out in front of me, and I just uh, tried to get it up in the air and, and make sure it went in. I think they played hard. I mean, if you look at that game, uh, they're a team that works hard. They're very skilled and opportunistic. Uh, we have to eliminate uh, giving up odd man rushes, obviously. Um, but uh, for me, I expect a hard game tomorrow. I think uh, uh, every team in this league plays hard. And, and you know, tonight we we were asleep in the first period. Uh, we responded very, very well in the second and third, uh, but too little, too late.